Sarah is. 56 build bit prefect. It wasn't delivered till 58. It's up as a running project. So yeah, that thing there does work. If you notice down the bottom, cool nose needs replacing. It's been replaced at some point with the wrong one. It's got a Datsun radiator in it, <coughs> which is wrong, <laughs> as you can guess. Um, rust. It's got a bit, but. The important stuff's there. Sorry for the close angle, the fact that I'm stood near a lot of trees isn't helping. Um, interior's all there, seats are in good nick. The cap it's absolutely rooted. As you can see. Dashboards pretty mint. According to the speeder. She's done 55,787 miles in her life. Well, that's gone round or not, I'm not sure. Doors need oiling. Worst rust on the thing is these little pitchy patches of red oxide. Bottom of that door and the front of that edge of that wing. Three quarters. Which I have been told is quite easy to replace. Around the back of the boot. Boot edge to floor is a bit grubby. The top aperture's gone a little bit as well. Inside the boot, in the quarters, you know, actually look pretty damn neat for one of these. Lights are there. It's got a bit of bogging this way at rear quarter. It's got a big bit of rust and a dint at the bottom, which is the main issue. Yeah, it's got a wee bit of scabbing underneath the rear window if you can see it down the boot lip. Back seat. Roof lining's a bit chockers. Carpet set, what's left of them. Um, it's got a bubble there, but that's not actually through the metal. As you can see, the step area is pretty schmick. A lot of this is dust and shit because it's been sat. Three speeder, obviously. I've been told it's an early one because of the shape of the dash. But I'll be honest, I don't know jack shit about these things. Under the seat, she looks pretty good. Same again, still, they're alright. The door actually works. It's got a little lumpy, bumpy bit there, which is a bit unkeen. Inside the arches, she's pretty damn smicker. A lot of it's just where the paint's peeling out. The same and deeper, really, as you say, this was from where it's been sat. You can see it still's in pretty smart condition, stacking plates are all there. Around the front, bonnet's just got surface rust. Screen rubbers up the deck. Front panel's been towed at some point through the hole, which is a bit sad, but. And as you can see, the thing's painted blue with some sort of dodgy cream stripe. It was originally grey, according to the books. How true that is, I'm not know. So there we have it. Not bad for what I paid for it. Now the fun begins. Oh, and it actually runs. Yeah, I forgot to tell you that. This one actually is alive. Unlike the Austin, uh, sorry, the Morris. This one is alive and kicking. Although well, that fuel tank there's doofed. And again, there's a dint in the bootleg, and it's covered in fucking moss and grime and crap. So I think it's time we got to get in and washed it. Um, this one, quick turnaround, hopefully. See if we can get it on the road as soon as possible. Um, it isn't as bad as it looks. It looks a lot worse than it is. So we'll see. Stay tuned, I'll post a video up of it running. Yeah, uh, there's your fuel pump tank. Because <laughs> the tank's knackered.